In this code sample, we first create a simple cookie. Its name is a Belsky cookie. Its value is some value. It has an expiration date, a path, a domain, and eventually when the cookie is configured, it is set back to the document. The result of this line is a new cookie in our web browser. Here we refer document.cookie for getting the available cookie and extract its data by calling the split function and then uh, printing its parts to the screen. Well, let's see how does it work. This is the web page. I refresh and as you can see I get an alert message saying there is a cookie. Its name is Abelsky cookie. Its value is some value.